Hello to everybody at D365 channel. Hello to everybody at the wonderful Dynamics 365 community. Today, my D365 Power Mantra is going to be from Brussels. I just came here recently to speak at D365 Focus Euro 2019. I took some two topics, one is on AI Builder and another was on client interface. So I'm going to do today's Power Mantra. This is the eighth Power Mantra. What is it going to be about? This one is going to be about AI Builder. We are going to look at a object detection model and how it can be configured in Power Platform. So let's get into the presentation, guys. So quickly moving into the presentation on D365 Power Mantra Volume 8, AI Builder Object Detection. I'm your host Deepesh, MVP MCT, author and practice at here at Dynamicity. Today, the problem that we are going to solve is for Natali. Natali manages the local Contos of Supermarket. She has multiple categories of objects to scan and then tag, sync into an inventory which is maintained within the Dynamics 365 instance. So Natali basically has a lot of categorization of different kinds of items to be done, for example, a grocery item. And she's looking for a solution to get her day-to-day -day needs fulfilled. Let us try to find a solution now. So here's our solution. She's going to use the AI Builder for Power Platform. What is it? AI Builder for Power Platform is basically an add-on for Power Apps and Flow that allows you to build artificial intelligent models. So Natali can directly build artificial intelligence models and then surface her into a Power App or utilize it in Flow if she requires. It also brings the power of machine learning right into the business application. Yeah, so that's what Natali is going to use. What are the typical steps to train an AI builder model for Power Platform? First, select certain parameters, then add inputs to learn. Tag those inputs, train your model. Now you can keep improving your model as, mu as much as you train it. So in case of Natali, she's going to train it using a lot of images. So that's the model which we are going to learn about today, which is Object detection model. This provides the ability basically to select, count, locate, or identify certain objects within an image. And then it can be used to extract this information as per your business needs. Let's quickly see how Natali utilized this and post which we are going to see the configuration. So here we are into the product recognizer app, which Natali has created and she can utilize this. So here you see the detect. So if I use this to detect and let's say this is a grocery item which is a grape and click on open what's going to happen is power apps is going to try using the power of AI builder to identify this so yeah it is able to identify that this is a grocery item then Natali can key in some key code information like this is grape 006 and create the product what this is going to do then later is this is going to sync it into the product inventory custom entity within Dynamics 365. We are going to look at that as well very quickly. Let me move over the screen. So here I quickly opened up the advanced find in Dynamics 365 and you can see that this is just recently created and if I open this, this is having the key information, the code, the type which was picked automatically using Power App. So imagine the possibilities you can do using flow and other things, right? Like you can use the categories to map it using into different kinds of categorizations. So let's see how this was configured. So now I'm back to the Power App screen and under here you can see AI Builder under which there is models. I have a variety of models. Some of them need attention because I'm testing few of them. So let's uh, skip that one. Let's use the one which we have been doing for product type. So you see this one here. Yeah, so that's the screen that opens up when you are trying to create one. If you're trying to create one from scratch, that's not how you're going to do it. You're going to do it from build. And then you can pick your appropriate model, for example, object detection. In my case, I'm just going to review the one and tell you the steps. So I'm going into models, my existing model, which is product type. This performance basically gives you the accuracy or how you are uh, able to going to be improve your particular model. So in this case, this is 47% because I've used some uh, out of box images and mixture of other images which are provided in some different samples. But yeah, this can improve over time. So I'm just going to click on discard raw because I might have been editing it earlier. 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new version. In your case, you have to go to build, click on object detection and do this from scratch. Awesome. So this is loaded now. And let me talk to you about versioning. Versioning is every time you want to improve your model, you can click on new version. And what I'm doing is because I want to show the steps, I'm opening this up. In your case, you will again reiterating, you will go to build, pick object detection and create the same model from there. So I'll wait for this to be loaded. Right. So the first thing is you identify different object para names or parameters. So in, in my case, I have to pick grocery, automobile, pharmaceutical and cosmetics, different kinds of images are loaded in. The second step you see is you need to add the images. So I have added 105 of those images. So let me move to the next step. This is basically going to look like a review. But yeah, I have ended up opening up and loading almost 105 images. So you can also load as many as you want, but for optimal results, at least 15 images per object categorization. So for example, if I'm categorizing one of the categories as grocery, at least 15 images of grocery. Adding as many more images will improve your performance, but more than 50 images per object would yield really better results. So in my case, I guess I have had few with uh, more than that, few with less, but yeah, in order to improve your performance percentage that we saw earlier, you need to add at least 15 for optimal more than 15. Then what you do in the next step is you tag your images. So this is a one time activity. You pick different images and you tag them. Last step is you train your model. You click on train and wait for the model to be trained. And that's all guys. When you go to your power app, this model will be able to be directly used within your power app. Now you can use things in flow also, which we are going to look at in one of the later power mantras. So, so Nancy is now quickly able to categorize tag and use the power of power apps with AI builder. Please do leave your feedback. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any of the needs on Dynamics 365 or platform Azure of 365, just get in touch with us here at Dynamics or 365 as usual guys. Signing off for you.